In this lesson, we'll learn how to generate text from scratch with AI by writing great prompts and follow-up prompts. Then, we'll use these skills to create a blog post with AI. In fact, this lesson may be the most important one in our series. Microsoft founder Bill Gates called AI as fundamental as the creation of the microprocessor, the personal computer, the internet, and the mobile phone. You don't get that kind of power without knowing what to ask, and here we'll explore that in detail. So let's dive in. To get started drafting with Notion AI, head to a blank page and click Start Writing with AI. Here, you can ask anything, but Notion will suggest a list of options too. These include things like brainstorm ideas, draft a blog post, craft an outline, write a social media post, and more. Of course, you can always type your own prompt to ask AI for anything. For example, ask AI to create a meal plan, then continue giving follow-up directions until you're happy with the result. Like, make it vegetarian if the result includes meat. Now, when we say ask anything, we mean anything. Here's just a few ways you could use AI to generate content. Maybe draft a project plan. AI can help with project management by suggesting tasks, timelines, and milestones based on your project details and goals. You can brainstorm social media captions. AI can generate catchy and engaging captions for social media posts, pulling in social norms for different platforms as needed. Even make a pros and cons list about moving to a new place. If you have a big decision to make in life or work, making a pros and cons list can help you weigh the advantages and disadvantages of different options. Notion AI can be a partner in thought to pull out ones you might not have considered. It's important to note that the quality of your response depends on the quality of your prompt. In other words, if you write a basic prompt, you'll get a basic response. If you write a detailed and specific prompt, you'll likely be happier with the result. So how do you do that? All prompts can be broken down into a few key parts. The medium of content, like a blog post, social media post, etc. The topic of the content, i.e. a post about blank. The format of the expected output. This one is really key. This is where you give details like whether you want bullet points, table format, or anything else. Let's break that down from the previous examples. If we wanted to draft a project plan with AI, we might ask AI for a project plan to create dark mode for Acme's app and ask it to include an overview section, tasks, and other relevant details. To write social media captions, we'd want to tell AI the desired length of caption and any other inclusions you'd want in the output, like hashtags and emojis where relevant. You can even specify which platform the caption will be used on to better match tone. Let's consider how to use these skills in practice to draft a blog post about Acme Inc.'s latest funding round. To get started, open up a blank page in Notion and click on Start Writing with AI to access the AI Writing Assistant. When you're ready to write your blog post, you could start with a basic prompt like Announce Our Latest Funding Round. You'll notice that this output is pretty short and lacks detail. AI even left space for key details like amount of funding and lead investors. To get the best results from AI, it's important to be clear and specific about what you want the AI to generate. Heading back to our framework, let's consider what other details we should include in this prompt. First, the medium of the content. We want AI to draft a blog post, so let's lead with that. Next, the topic of the content. In this case, the topic is your company's latest funding round, but let's include a few more details we'd want the reader to know, like the name of our company, the amount of funding, and the goal of the funding. Finally, include the format of the expected output. This is where you get the details on what you want the blog post to look like, including the length and tone, like 500 words with a friendly and humble tone. After adding those details, our prompt should read more like this. Write a blog post about Acme's latest funding round of $80 million. Money was raised with the goal of expanding into global markets. 
output should be around 500 words and read in a friendly and humble tone. By being specific, you'll get more relevant output from AI. However, it's important not to over-engineer your prompts as the whole point of using AI is to save yourself time. If you're not satisfied with the initial output, don't worry. Simply keep asking AI for changes, like making the tone friendlier, or ask it to include more details about what Acme does, creating software tools. Of course, what's here will require additional fine tuning from a human editor. But by following these tips and being specific with your prompts, you'll be able to use Notion AI to generate impressive amounts of copy in seconds. To bring this into your work, try the brainstorm ideas prompt next time you get stuck or want a little turbo boost in your writing. We like to say you can keep the best and delete the rest. Happy drafting.